Welcome Virgos, I'm back. How are y'all? I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a reading for the month of May. Don't forget to like, comment, share with your family and your friends and subscribe if you're new. Click that bell to subscribe. We're going to most definitely be getting into some things, okay? So if you would like to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information is going to be below. I did extend the sale, guys. So um, if you want to book your reading, the total amount is going to be $44.44. And my readings are normally priced at $67, okay? Um, I'm doing it for the month of May for $44.44. You're going to get two questions answered, guys. One has to be a yes or no question, okay? Because I will utilize the pendulum to get your answer, okay? Y'all don't mind my nails. They look a mess. But hey, y'all know what's going on. All right, so let's get into some things. I'm here to shuffle four times, okay? Some of you guys may have been seeing the number 444, okay? Your angels um, may be trying to communicate with you, all right? You've been surrounded with angels. We're going to shuffle four times. I'm here at four, okay? This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, all right? So what messages do you have for my Virgos for the month of May? My message is that for Virgo. All right, so I have the King of Swords in the reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I got the Three of Swords upright, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I have the Death card, which is Scorpio's energy. I have the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, I got the Two of Wands in the reverse. And for future energy, I have the Hierophant in reverse. Okay. All right. Are you worried that somebody's going to find out the truth here? Because I get that there's a secret. You want to keep something hidden. Okay. Definitely hidden. All right. We got the high priestess here. And we also have the moon in reverse and the nine of cups. Pisces is energy. But I feel like you want to move in silence. And you're worried that someone's going to find, going to blow your cover or figure out, figure it out what it is that you're doing behind the scenes. But I do feel like you are worried about if someone finds out what they're going to say, how they're going to view you, okay? Um, then we got the Six of Wands, okay? So let's see about this King of Swords here. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, this energy. Very, very strong, blunt energy. I feel like you guys could be in this energy of, you know, not giving a damn. Like if somebody got something they want to say, you're going to snap back. What you like, you're not you're you're not you don't care about people's um what they have to say right now, okay? Or you could just be dealing with a Libra Gemini or Aquarius. I got the 3 of Swords, okay? This is some type of sorrow, pain, hurt. We got the Death card here, which is an ending. This Queen of Wands Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, the two of wands in the past. It's in the reverse, okay? So you weren't prepared for something here in the past. And then we got Taurus's energy moving ahead, but it's in the reverse, okay? So this is interesting. Let's see. I want to see why the King of Swords is here. Okay. <laughs> All right. We got the fool to be dealing with a Sagittarius or an Aries. But you've been holding back. You've been holding. Okay. You try not to hurt somebody's feelings here is what I'm getting. I feel like you've been holding back, okay, from taking some type of leap of faith or risk. Um, but you want to go ahead and say this. Like, you want to go ahead and speak your truth. You want to go ahead and speak your mind. But I feel like you are holding back. But I feel like you really, really want to. 
something is pissing you off or making you feel uncomfortable um it's you know you can't really sleep at night something is worrying you and you want to say something okay you want you want to get this off your chest why is the three of swords here maybe somebody hurt your feelings or said something to you or did something to you why is the three of swords here yeah okay yeah I got the Nine of Wands and the Strength card, okay? And you're trying to be strong or you're trying to show that you're strong, okay? You're trying to show that you're strong. Um, but I feel like I'm getting like someone's going back and forth here. I got the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Four of Wands, okay? So there's this in and out type of energy here. There's this back and forth type of energy. This kind of is like an unstable thing here. Okay, you're trying to stay strong, but I feel like really deep down your feelings are kind of hurt, but you're putting on this facade like, oh no, I'm not going to let you see. You won't see me. You won't see it. I won't show you that. I won't give you that. Why is the thrill still Oh gosh. Okay. It could be two people involved here. I got the king of pentacles and the two of pentacles. <laughs> Could be two people involved here, okay? Could be two people involved here. Or if there's a decision that you need to make, it needs to be a stable decision, okay? Because this is like really, really big because the tower is here, okay? So this decision is big that needs to be made, okay? Why is the Ace of Wands in the reverse here? No regrets, okay? Maybe you regret giving this person a chance. Maybe you regret, you know, sleeping with this person. Um, and you 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 have to show this person what you really made of because they they probably think you're soft. <laughs> so you gotta show this person what you made of. Okay. Why is the death card here? The Empress. Okay. Queen of Cups. The Fool in Reverse. You want to ask somebody a question. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Y'all got nine of cups, knight of cups, but you're hesitating. But you want to you wanna talk. You want to get advice or you want to talk to somebody that is more caring and that's going to give you, a, you know, that caring, uh, compassion, compassionate feeling. Okay, but let's see. Why is the interest here? Some of you... I, I'm not going to say that just yet. Why is the Empress here? The moon. Ugh. Okay. The moon and the Empress. Okay. Someone here could find out that they are pregnant. Or there is something that is being kept a secret. Okay. Somebody told somebody something and they ran with it. Okay. Somebody told somebody something and they ran with it. Why is the moon in the reverse? Why is the moon reverse? The justice card. Libra. Libra energy. I keep getting that you guys may be regretting, okay? Doing whatever with this person or just, re I'm just getting like regretting crying over spilt milk okay king of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn and that two of pentacles keeps showing itself okay some of you guys uh may have taken a pregnancy test okay maybe you thought that you were pregnant the results were negative but i'm getting like a pregnancy test somebody's taking a pregnancy test here with this um justice card Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and the High Priestess in reverse. But but you know you aren't sure, okay? With the High Priestess reverse, I mean some of you aren't listening to your intuition or aren't following the signs, okay? Aren't paying attention to the signs. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Queen of Swords. All right, somebody's doing some living it up. All right. 
Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. There could be two people involved, okay? Somebody is taking something and running with it, okay? Knight of Swords and the Chariot, okay? And things turned out for, like, someone was in a bad situation, but things started to turn around. And I feel like something here, too, like, you're trying to turn your situation around. You're looking at all of your options because I got the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups. You're looking at all of your options. Queen of Pentacles, you guys' energy. Okay? So you're trying to... You're looking at all of your options in this situation. Like, you're looking at everything. You're utilizing all of your options. Okay? Some of you guys with that Five of Pentacles, the situation may have looked bad. Okay? It may have felt... You may have felt rejected or left out in the cold. Um, but with that Wheel of Fortune here, you're trying to, you know, make a, some, some some type of change, okay? Some type of positive forward movement. Why is the Queen of Swords here? The Five of Pentacles again, okay? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Okay. Something about being, um, someone is stuck. Could be a Leo. I'm getting like so, someone is stuck, okay? Why is this sun card here? Oh, someone is a liar. Four of pentacles and a seven of swords. Someone is a liar here. So maybe you're trying to find out the truth about someone. Someone possibly said that they may have, they took a pregnancy test and, but you feel like they're lying. This could involve a third party. Why is the three of swords here again? Why is the three of swords here? Ace of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone may not have may not have the money to, and I really hate to say this, but I'm going to say it. Someone may not have the money to get an abortion, or this is something that they're saying. Okay, I feel like it's either you or somebody around you with the Queen of Wands. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm picking up on Libra, and I'm picking up on Taurus as well, too. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But someone is, like, not over something. Um, I'm picking up on Leo really heavy. Someone's not over something. Like, they can't get over. They're having trouble moving on. And they keep bringing up these lies. Like, someone is a, a liar here. Why is the four pencils here? Yeah, eight of wands, okay? Somebody keeps telling lies, okay? Somebody is a liar here. Now, this could be you or this could be somebody around you, but somebody is a liar here, okay? Why is the two of wands in the reverse? Mm-hmm. Somebody is not prepared. You weren't prepared, okay? So maybe you try to, with the seven of wands... This is you standing your ground, okay? And this is you um, with the world card here. This is you, like, being against or feeling like it's you against the world. Knight of Wands. Three of Wands. Maybe you're going to see, like, when, when this person comes back around, you're going to address the situation. Maybe that's how you felt about it. Like, whenever they come back around me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mention it. I'm going to say something about it. But I feel like once you heard it, you kind of was like, what? I'm not sure if this is you. 
Okay, I feel like this is somebody around you. It could be you, but I feel like this is somebody around you energy as well. Why is the Hierophant in the reverse here? This is Taurus's energy. Why is the Hierophant in the reverse here? I don't think you guys ever had a reading like this. Why is the full card here? Yeah, see, somebody's starting drama. Okay, and it could be with a father with the emperor card here. Okay, somebody's starting some drama. Look, it's spying going on. It's spying. It's spying going on. Okay, like it's a it's it's a mess here. Something here is a mess. Clearly, something here is a mess. Why is the five of swords here? King of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Six of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's bringing up someone's past. Like, this is messy. This is a big mess, whatever this is. I'm getting a bunch of he say, she say. I got the Strength card, Leo's Energy, and the Ace of Swords, okay? So, the truth is going to be revealed here. Some type of truth is getting ready to come out. Okay, some type of truth is getting ready to come out, possibly about a, about a third party situation here with this three of cups. Okay, nine of swords. There's lots of drama here. I'm getting like there's a lot of drama here. Nine of swords. This shit is causing some anxiety. What is this? Y'all sound like y'all doing going through a lot. Why's the nine of swords here? Why is the King of Swords? The Knight of Swords. Ooh. I just feel like y'all kind of mad about something. Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Hangman. There's lots of drama here. Like, this is a lot of he say, she say. Um, a lot of drama. Like, I'm not sure if this is you or somebody that's around you. And this is like a, a big deal. That is a topic of discussion for the month of May. But this is major. Like, I know that's not going to apply for all of y'all. But some of it's just like a drama filled uh, soap opera. That's what it seems like to <laughs> me. All right, give me a message here for Virgo, please. Okay, I got, um, don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Okay, and I'm also getting, share your voice. Come out of the cave. Come out of the cave. Okay, speak your opinion. And you don't have to fit in. You don't have to be like nobody else. Be yourself. Okay, what other message do I have here? All right, uh, awakening, okay, a new way of being, energetic upgrades, and I'm getting, yes, okay, yes, there needs to be a cycle that needs to be broken, break the chain, okay, there is some type of cycle that needs to be broken, okay, something needs to be rewritten, You is something that needs to be over and done with, okay, something that needs to end, okay, a cycle of something needs to end, Let's see what messages we have from the angels. What message is there for Virgos? I got wait and I also got don't stop. Okay, wow. Give me one more message for Virgos, please. Ask your angels. Something is unlikely, okay? You're unlikely to get help from help from someone, okay? You're unlikely to have help, okay? Or someone is unlikely to help you. We got unlikely and helpful people, okay? But the, the, the thing of it is, is that you have to make sure that you're communicating clearly what it is that you need or want help with and remain positive, okay? Remain positive. But there's something here that 
it's unlikely that this person is, is beneficial to you. It's unlikely that this person is going to help. It's just unlikely. Okay, so let's see. Why is wait here? Two of Wands in reverse and the world in reverse. Okay, wait. Something about not being prepared. There's unfinished business that needs, there's some something that you need to tie up or handle or done before you make your next move, okay? It's something that's holding you back because you have unfinished business, okay? And you're not prepared. You're not fully prepared, okay? Why is don't stop here? Four of Wands. Don't stop getting, trying to get your stability. For some of you, this is a home. This is home life, okay? A marriage. Don't stop. Don't don't give up on a situation. Don't don't stop looking. Don't stop looking. Don't stop trying to find balance in your life. Why is the four of wands here? Ooh. Okay, ten of pentacles. For some of you, this is a marriage, okay? But this is more to me for a lot of people. Um, this could be stability, okay? I got the page of swords. People are watching you, okay? And people are watching you. Um, and I feel like, oh, okay. A lot of people want to say some, say things, but they aren't saying it. Um, I feel like they're waiting for you to see what type of moves you're going to make to try to make your life be more harmonious, balanced, stable. Okay. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, see the Eight of Pentacles is there again. And the Moon. Pisces is energy. You guys got the Moon card a lot. Okay. Someone's someone's trying to hide something here. And something is a big uh, cover-up. I'm not sure if you're trying to cover something up. I got that as well, too. Like, somebody's trying to cover something up. Um, but I feel like... Why is the Moon card here? Why is the Moon card here? The Six of Cups, okay? And this reverse. There's something about your past that you may be trying to cover up or hide. Um, I feel like you guys just need to fo solely focus on trying to find balance and peace and making sure your funds is right. Like, those are the things that, you know, needs to be a main focus right now because I feel like there's a lot of instability. I'm just getting that. Like, there's lots of worry and anxiety and pressure um, that you guys may be feeling on your shoulders. I feel like your focus should be, you know, making sure that things are balanced, okay? We got Ask Your Angels, okay? Knight of Wands wanted to jump out, okay? Ask Your Angels for direction, okay? We got the Wheel of Fortune. What would be the best thing for you to do? Looking at all of your options, okay? And, and figure out which way would be the best way for you to move, all right? Some of, you, some of you may decide to change your mind on something, too. I feel like there's this instability. I get, I'm getting that there's a lot of back and forth with that Knight of Wands, okay? I feel like you tried to wait something out to see if something is going to be worth it. Um, but I feel like you... Are looking at all your options. I keep getting that. Like, you're looking at all of your options. Some of you may decide to change your mind going into the near future, okay? You may get some type of guidance or sign or signal um, to change your mind. Some of you guys may have been seeing the number 555. Five. I've been seeing 555 five, five a lot lately. So, big changes are on the way, okay? So, I'm just getting like, there's just a need. You guys have a lot of, um, you know, just a lot of worrisome energy, all right. If you guys need to book a personal reading with me, guys, that information is going to be in the drop box below. All right. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. All right. Until next time, you guys. Ciao.